Jamie's Lloyd Griffith, comedian and Grimsby Town fan. And I'm Jack Johnson, commercial assistant at the football club and Grimsby Town fan as well. And thanks to Jack, we're going to be taking you on an Access All Areas backstage tour of Grimsby Town's Blundell Park, showing you the nooks and crannies, the rooms that you might necessarily not have seen. Don't be surprised if you see a few players knocking around because they have just finished training as Brilliant. well. Brilliant. OK, let's go. Let's do it. Let's go to the boardroom. Right, Scotty. Right, Scott. How are you, mate? Is it your week on the road, sir? Yeah, my turn today, so just sorting it out. Oh, good lad. Crikey, you've got a lot to get through, haven't you? Hard worker. It's going to take a while, that. It's the trophy cabinet. Yeah, that's all of them. Look at them there. Oil windscreen from 97-98. Uh, Great season, mate. Lovely stuff. Great season. Apparently the wood from the side of the uh, boardroom is actually comes from trees from Wilsby Woods. Is, it, is that true? Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Well, uh, we'll probably leave you to it then, Scott. Cheers, lads. All right, mate. You have a nice day. I will do. You too. Take care. All the best, mate. See you. Bye-bye. Bit swish. Well, this is one of our uh, typical boxes we've got here at Grimsby Town Football Club. Uh, seats about 20 people. And the little known fact is that Grimsby Town Football Club are one of the first clubs in the country to actually have executive facilities at football games. Oh, very nice. Yeah, so little known fact for you there. Lovely stuff. One day. One day. Okay, next we're going to have a little look in the Mona Trust bar. This is where a lot of people who sit in the lower fin this come for a pint beforehand. It's really busy on a match day. It gets a little bit raucous sometimes, but in a good way. Alright, Sean? Alright. What are you uh, up to? Oh, I just borrowing some food. Borrowing? Borrowing? Yeah, just borrowing it, yeah. Okay. Hey there. See ya. Okay, so we're, uh, we're now in the, in the Finder stand that was built in the early 80s. We've got some fantastic views of the Dock Tower, which is obviously yeah. well known around the world now, and the River Humber. Um, it's just one of the best views you probably get in English football. It's absolutely brilliant. And this, this stand has actually had 32, uh, 32 different names. Including the uh, the lower the lower Smiths, the upper Smiths, the Smiths, Morrissey, uh, Carlsberg, Stones Bitter, the Rolling Stones, the Stone Roses, and then back to uh, back to Finders. Have you just made some of those up? No. It was around about this spot where John Paul Cameron Bacalala. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Scored the uh, winner against Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah. And, uh... All right, lads. All oh, right, mate. How are you doing? You all right? Yeah, not too bad. What are you up to? Just reading the book, catching a few rays. Got right. a landscape garden at home. Missus kicked me out, hasn't she? OK. Reading up on the Grimsby Town story. How is it? Yeah, it's all right, to be fair. Good Decent. Read, good read, that. It's a great read. Good read. It's 2008. Very good read. Available in the club shop. Yeah. Um, cool. All right. All right. Cheers, Diz. Anyway, take care. Yeah. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Go cheers, to the mate. main stand? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't need to run you through the stands, do I, Lloyd? No. So you've got the uh, Osmond, which is the away end, yeah. uh, which then leads into the main stand, which was built in early 1900s. Yeah, give or take, yeah. And yeah. arguably one of the oldest stands in the country. Yeah, without a doubt, yeah. Uh, and then there's the pontoon. I don't really need to tell you anything like that, do I? Like, it's black, it's white, it's got a massive drum. Um, what more to say? There's no more to say. Right, let's go and have a look at one of the oldest stands in the league. Yes. So, this is a little bit like being at the seaside. Uh, what, what is this? Well, before we had the uh, the Finder stand, this used to be the director's area. You used to come and view the games from in here. Oh, very nice. Very swish. Someone actually like, got actual padded seats. Um, how long have them padded seats been there? No idea, mate. Ages, probably. Brilliant, thank you, mate. This 
is the uh, away change room. This is where the teams come and get changed before. It's very basic, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad. Obviously, it's better than when it was first built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got your benches, you've got your little medical bench there. Seats and hooks. It does smell quite a lot. Is that is that on purpose? I couldn't possibly say, Lloyd. Okay, fair enough. And this, obviously, is the home dressing room. This is where the Mariners get changed for a game. Wow. It's a lot bigger, isn't it? It's a lot bigger. We've got car hangers. Oh, I mean. No, it's been spared. This is... I feel giddy. <laughs> so this is the, the manager's office. So all the tough decisions are made. To see if he's, if he's in. Will he be in? I'll have to have a look. All right, um, what's going on? Good. Cool. Should we, um, should we leave you to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers lads. Okay, so this is the police box. Right. Not everyone knows that. Uh, on a match day, that's where people, the head steward and the police come and sort of keep an eye on people during the game. Okay. And this is the PA box. Yeah. This is uh, where people do their announcements during the game. Yeah. And I don't think anyone knows, this is actually where Mighty Mona lives. Really? Yeah. Can I, uh, can I try it on? If you really want to. Yes, yeah. I do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mind up and get this head on, please. I just can't seem to do it. Yeah, sure. It's alright, mate. Yeah. Just can't seem to get it on. Alright, that's it. Yeah, it's mine. Just push down a little. There we go. There we go. Oh, I can't wear that. Stinks of Sean Pearson's breath. Nice. Oh. Cool. You're not putting this online, are you? Us? Nah. Not nah. oh, good. I don't want everybody to think nah. I'm a bit weird. <laughs> yeah. I want that. Okay. No. Anyway, lads, thanks for that. We'll leave you to it, mate. Thanks for that. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. Paul. Bye. Thank you. So there you go, Blundell Park in all its glory on just a normal, normal day. Some of it you might have seen before, some of it you might not have seen before. But either way, I hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully we'll see you here soon. Yeah, lads. Yeah.